my friends. <laughs> We're getting ready to check out the ladder. But well, first look, look at all these really cool hydraulic arms here that actually lift up the fire truck. There's one on the front, one in the middle, and one on the end on each side. But if you look, the fire truck is completely over the ground. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta make sure that it's level to extend the ladder. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, check this out. This is where the controls are. <laughs> Got some really cool levers here and some switches. Got to make sure all the switches are on first. Yep, there we go. And a really special pedal that actually activates the hydraulics. Are you ready? Listen. Oh, wow. You hear that? The engine revving up. All right, so. First thing we have to do is we have to lift the ladder out of its cradle. Watch this. Gotta lift it up nice and easy. Slow and steady. There we go. Check that out. Can you see it lifting up? Oh, wow. This is awesome. So we can lift it straight up and Check this out. We can spin it. We can go counterclockwise, or just to the left. Oh yeah, yep. And we can go clockwise. Check this out. I can come back to you. Not great. All right, and then also, we got something really, really cool. We can climb up really high, and we can extend the ladder. Here we go, watch it. Oh yeah, look at there. That's awesome, ain't it? Oh, we can go all the way up. Check that out. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh yeah. And of course we can bring it back down. Here we go. And we can lower it all at the same time. Watch this. Oh, this is great. Oh, do you know that this ladder can go up to 75 feet? That's really high. Oh, it's pretty awesome, right? Oh, isn't yeah. this awesome? Any man, you want to try the bucket out? Ooh. Think I can try the bucket out? Oh, that would be awesome! Let's get you up there. Oh, let's go! Now we get to go up into the bucket. Check this out. We've got a really cool ladder belt here to actually strap us to the bucket to keep us safe. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to climb right up here. Oh, oh we're going to be safe, though. Here we go. Yep, handyman. Are we right up here? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let me just open the door. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> wow, we can even see the top of this building. Oh, that's cool. Wow. And it, it goes up about, this one right here is a 75 footer. Oh, wow. So it goes up 75 foot in the air. Oh, and here we go. Uh -huh. You're extending the ladder now. This is great. So, have you ever had to use this to fight a fire before? We have, we have. We have uh, the bigger houses in the Waibu Lake area. Uh, you know, two or three story house, we use it to get above the fire and, and, and put water down on it. Hey man, if you look over there, you can see the high school. Oh, that's right. You can't see the high school over there. Well, that looks like the football field. That is exactly right. Oh, wow. Hey man, I love learning. 
about new tools. And look, they even got a slide. So of course, we gotta check it out. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be great. Oh, of course, you know what we have to use. <laughs> Handyman Al, super slide spray. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, 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 we gotta turn it on. There it goes. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be great. Oh, I love slides. Oh, all right, so we got it in there. Let's wipe it down. Okay, let's wipe it down. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, hold on. We gotta get in here really good. Okay. Oh, really good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, right, here we go. Zero! Oh, oh, oh. Wow. That was awesome. Oh, look. Look at all of these patches. These patches are from fire stations all over the country. You know that each fire station has their own distinct patch. They come in all different, in different shapes and designs. Well, oh, that one even has a, a soldier on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see. What's can we find in here? Oh, let's see. Oh, those are really, really cool. That one's got a fire hat on it. That one's cool. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh. oh, and look, this one even has the shape of our state, South Carolina. Oh, and it's from Myrtle Beach. That's really cool. These are really interesting. Ooh. I wonder if I can make me a patch. Come on, let's go. Now we get to make our own firefighter patch. How cool is that? Oh, this machine does it. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's see. We gotta read the instructions before you begin. Firefighters wear special patches to represent their departments. Oh, that's cool. You can make your own patches. You can print and wear on home. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, there we go. Start button. All right, let's see here. We get to choose our shape. What kind of shape? We got a round one. That one looks kind of cool. There's an oval one. Oh, that looks like a shield. Oh, that's cool. Oh, which one? Oh, maybe we should get this one right here. This one looks really, really cool. How about that? Oh, that's great. Let's see. Let's go to the next button. Oh, I can choose my color. Oh, this is hard. Oh, I got two favorite colors. Let's see, we could do a blue one. Oh, that's great. Check that out. We just slide it across it. Oh, we can do, oh, look, an orange one. Oh, maybe we're gonna have to go with orange. I like that. I'll see. Next button. Let's see. Oh, the inside. Oh, so now we can choose blue. Oh, it's great. Oh, that's great, right? Next. All right, now we see. Type your name. Oh, yeah. Let's see. There's an H in our name. Let's see. There's an A and an L. Oh, look at that. It says hi. That's me. <laughs> All right, we can say done. Let's see here. Oh, has not public safety badge squad. Oh, let's see. Do we want to be public safety? The brigade? Oh, that's kind of cool. Squad. What else is down here? Let's see. Oh, fire department. That's cool. Oh, well, let's do the squad. I like the squad. It's the house squad. <laughs> All right, so next. Ooh, we get to choose a, let's see. A picture on there. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got a firefighter on there. Oh yeah, putting a fire out. Oh, and that's even got a fire. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, there's a fire truck. Oh, I like that one. You like that one? Does that look good? Uh, I think we're good with that one. Now, we just got to hit the print button. Oh yeah, let's see. Your patch is being printed. Please wait a few moments. All right, we're gonna wait. Let's get, oh look, I think it's already come out. Look at that! It's our patch! Oh, it's really cool! Oh, wow! There's a lot of fire engines here! Do you know? They've got over 20 fire engines from over 10 decades! That's a lot, and a lot of engines. <laughs> Do you know that these trucks are fully operational and fully restored? So you know what that means? That means you can get in them right now and go driving down the road and go fight fires, just like they did when they were made. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I wonder if we can get in it right now. Oh, which one I would choose? Hmm, that's a hard decision. Oh, 
Oh, look, my friends. This is Fire Marshal Gil. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. What What are you doing here? We're going to demonstrate how to use a fire extinguisher. Oh, that's really cool. Yes. Do you know the acronym for fire extinguisher using a fire extinguisher? Mm, I think I do. Oh, it's PASS. That is correct. You know what the P stands for? Oh, pull. You have pull to pull the, the pin. Yeah. That's right. A. Oh, you got to aim. You got to aim at the fire. That's right. Aim. Yeah. The first S. Oh, you gotta squeeze, like to squeeze the squeeze trigger. Squeeze the trigger. And then the last S. Oh, I think this one's tough. Oh, it's the left, oh, the sweep, the, from sweep. the left to the right, yeah. That is correct. Oh, that is totally awesome. Well, what kind of fire extinguisher is this? This is the most commonly found in homes and in some businesses. This is a combination ABC. Okay. The A stands for ash, wood product, paper product. B stands for boiling liquids, mm. flammable liquids. Okay. And C stands for current, electrical. Oh, wow. That's cool. There's three different classes of fire, and this extinguisher puts it out. And you, you're going to demonstrate that right now, aren't you? Yes, I am. Oh, well, come on. Let's see it. All right. All right, we got the fire going. The first thing you do is pull the pin. You aim, squeeze, sweep. And then the fire is out. Oh, wow, that was totally awesome. <laughs> now, do you want to try? Oh, I would love to try it. That's going to be awesome. Come on, let's go. <laughs> right now, I'm setting the fire for you, handyman. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so let's see. Pass, right? So yeah. the first thing we have to do is pull the pin. Oh, there it goes. All right. And then we got to aim just like that. Squeeze and then sweep. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. We did it. Oh, the fire's out. Awesome job. Thanks, Fire Marshal Gill. Anytime. <laughs> oh, look. This is my friend, Captain Johnson. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing awesome. What? What is this? This here is our training prop with ordinary uh, stove and oven. Um, we got a pot on the stove, and we're going to simulate a grease fire. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, happens a lot. Uh, you know, people like to eat pork chops, fried chicken, oh, fries. I do like some fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't we all? Uh, it, it occurs a lot. We're going to go over some things to help put it out if it happens. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, what might those things be? Uh, we can use baking soda. You know, everybody has baking soda or salt. Salt, okay, everybody cool. has that. Uh, today, we're going to use a wet rag. An ordinary kitchen towel is wet, and we're just going to smother the fire. Well, that's cool. Well, what do you not put on one? We do not put water. Wow. Water, cool. yeah. Water makes it spread quickly, very quickly. And then it goes from a small fire to a big fire wow. in matters of seconds. Wow, this is really cool that we get to learn about fire yeah. safety. This is great. So, so I thought today I would I would simulate and demo one first, and then maybe you can give it a try, handyman. Oh, really? That would be totally awesome. Let's see it. Okay, let's do it. So here we just have an ordinary kitchen towel, a soap, and we're just gonna put it over the fire, let it smother it. And once you put it on there, you don't take it off. Then I'm gonna take it off, see? It's gone, it's out. All right, oh, all right, Captain Johnson. I got all my safety gear on, got my jacket on. Oh, and my helmet, oh, it's great. And I even got my rag here. Oh, and it's nice and wet. Yeah. I got it sugar wet in the sink. Oh, wow. These beast fires can get really big, can't they? Very quickly. Oh, are we ready? Just toss it over the top, right? That's right, nice and easy. Here we go. Oh, wow. Amazing. You know, it's really cool learning about fire safety, even with simple household objects. It's really cool. Okay, so can I take it off now? Yeah. Let's oh, here we go. Oh, okay. wow. That's awesome, we did it. Awesome job. Oh, all right, my 
friends. Now, we gotta get ready for a fire call. And we gotta fill up the fire truck with some order. Ooh, we got our fire hydrant and we got our supply hose. See if we can get, get this connected here. This is a little bit bigger than my garden hose. There it goes. We gotta twist it. Push that and lock it down. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, there we go. So we got it. Now, I need a, I need a hydrant wrench. Oh, look. Who got it? Check this out. It's adjustable, you see? It goes up and it comes down. All right, so got to connect it right here, just like that. Tighten it up. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. So to the left. Really nice and easy. No, nope, let's see. Uh, here we go. Nice and easy. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I think it's coming out. There it goes. You can see the hose filling up. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. All right, come on. Oh, wow. So what are we doing now? Okay. So now we've got water. Now we got the spray water. So oh, wow. We got everything ready to go. So we just got to pull this and water's going to come out of that gun. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hey, handyman, won't you go give it a try? All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. Right here, handlebars. Oh, yep. We're almost there. All right. Here we go. All right, we got to unlock it so we can move it around. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, we can do this right here. We can raise it up and we can lower it down. Oh, there we go. Check that out. Look how far that's swinging. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, that's great. Oh, awesome job. Wow, that's shooting out there far. Oh, it's right there. There we go. Yeah, right there. We're doing awesome. This it's called a deluge gun. Oh, it's awesome. See how far it shot that water? Oh, so we've got a lock right here. Lift it up. Oh, and that's what allows it to move to the left and to the right. And we've got the spin knob here. It allows it to go up and allows it to go down. Oh, we go pretty far down there. Check that out. Oh, that's awesome.
it over here to the side just like that. Check out this place. It's like the old firefighter's house. They got a refrigerator, they got cabinets, they got a kitchen, they got a sink. They've got a table to eat at. And look, Kevin's eating dinner already. Yep. How cool is that? Oh, whoa. What is that? Got a call. A call? Got a fire. Oh, well, let's yeah. go. Yeah. All right, Kevin, what do we need? What do All we right, need? Hell, what we have right here? You, you got a coat, need you to put your coat on? Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, let's get this on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, got some thumbs there. there. Got some thumbs in. Yeah. And we got a trade helmet. Oh, okay, sweet. There we go. Oh, sweet. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh. All right, come on around and get in the, in the front seat for me. Oh. Safety first, bubble. All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, 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 we see the light. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is really cool. This is a fire truck simulator. Oh, that is really awesome. Let's check out the inside. Oh, let's check out back here. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all this. This is the back part of the fire truck. This is called the jump seats. Oh, how cool is that? This is where all the other firefighters sit whenever they're racing down the road to get to the emergency. This is really cool, right? Oh, we even got some really cool buttons back here. Oh, that's cool. I like some really cool lights. Oh, it's cool. Come on. See what else we can find. Oh, oh. From one side to the other. Oh, look. They even got the lights. Oh, yep. Yeah. And the mirrors. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they even got the lights on the top. Oh, this is going to be great. Come on. Let's go get in the driver's seat. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be really cool. Have you ever been inside of a fire truck before? Oh, yeah. Oh, look. It's like I'm the captain and I'm driving the fire truck. Isn't this really, really cool? Of course, we got our steering wheel. We got our horn. <laughs> oh, that great. Oh, we got all these kind of controls here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, and then we've got some buttons up here. that actually turns our lights on. <laughs> oh, and look. This is where we touch to start the simulation. Here we go. It says standby. Your call is coming in. Can you hear it? 86 major, 6 major accident, 2603 up this road. Oh, wow. 86 major accident, 2603 It's an accident. Oh, oh this is going to be great. Right here. Oh, wow. Oh, and look. It says press the blue flashing light 
to start the engine. And there it is. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. When you can even see it. Oh, the seat's vibrating. Oh, yeah. Listen. Oh, and the gate's going up. Oh, I think it's time to go. We gotta go to the emergency. So now, we just need our sirens and our horn. And the still there. You ready? Here we go. There it is. And the air horn. Oh, that's great. Oh, and we just gotta go. Let's go to the emergency. Oh, this is great. It's like I'm a real firefighter. Handyman, help to the rescue. Oh, yeah. Watch out, everybody. We're coming through. We got to get to the emergency. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. We got to look at the red lights and make sure we can get through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch out the way. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> we got to get through the city a little bit. <laughs> And we're on the interstate. <laughs> we gotta get off right here. And we're gonna turn a little bit. Oh yeah, around this curve. Watch out, folks. We're going to an emergency. Oh, being a firefighter is so awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. I think we're almost there. Oh, let's see. Yep, yep, we gotta turn right here. Oh, 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 yes. Here we go. Oh, it looks like it was a car accident. All right, so now we're here. We gotta get out and take care of the emergency. Come on, let's go. Oh. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, have you ever wondered where fire trucks actually get their water from? Oh, it's from fire hydrants. Check this out. Oh, yep. You can even see the inside of this one. Look at it, it's really cool. There's water and pipes down below in the ground. And this is where the water comes from. And of course, firefighters have got to have some really, really cool tools. Check those out. To actually open and close the fire hydrant. And then they've got these really cool hoses and attach to the back of the fire truck. Oh, oh that's where they get the water from. And then they have these really cool valves. Oh, that open and close. Oh, yep. Yeah. So they got to know what they're doing and they got some really cool tools to work with it. Isn't that awesome? Oh wow, isn't this place really interesting? They've got all kinds of really cool information about fire trucks and how they work. Like this is called water on wheels. Oh, it tells you about how the water goes from inside the truck and it pumps it out through the hoses. Oh, check this out. Look at all these hoses. Oh, we've got a big hose here. Oh wow. Oh, we've got a medium sized hose oh, and then even a small one. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, and they actually tell and simulate how many pounds of pressure that each hose has. This one has 300 pounds of pressure. Oh, that's a lot. Let's see, let's see if I can hold it. Oh, oh see? Oh, wow. Oh. oh, you gotta be really, really strong to hold that hose. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then the middle one here, let's see. This is 175 pounds. Oh, oh I think I got that. That's easy there. Oh, yeah. Then, the last one, it's 50 pounds. Oh, I think you probably could do this one. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, but still, you gotta have a little bit of strength to hold onto those hoses. Oh, do you remember that time whenever I got to use one of these? Wasn't that great? Oh, it was totally awesome. Oh yeah, how cool is this? Oh, that's so awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're doing such an awesome job. We're putting this fire out real quick. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Oh, cool. Look at this fire truck, come here. Oh, and look at this firefighter. Oh, wonder if he's got anything important to say. Let's see. I got to tell you, 
Being a firefighter is not for everyone. It takes a lot of physical strength, courage, and the ability to make split-second decisions work together as a team. There are many jobs that take this kind of commitment, but you know, I wouldn't dream of doing anything else. Being a firefighter is one of the most dangerous jobs there is, and occasionally it means risking your life for someone you don't even know. Come see us anytime, and please bring your family and friends. Wow, that was some really important information. You know, it takes a lot of dedication to be a firefighter. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow, look at this. This is the ladder on the back of a ladder truck. Oh, and the firefighter stands right there and he sprays water right out of that nozzle. That's a big nozzle. Oh, doesn't fire trucks have some of the coolest parts? Have you ever wondered about those parts before? Oh, we can learn about them right here. Check this out. Oh yeah, this is a really cool fire truck. Well, let's see what we can learn about. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's like where all the gauges and stuff are. Let's see. The water inlet oh. is where the water is sucked into the fire engine through a supply hose, usually connected to oh, look, a fire hydrant a or fire some hydrant. other water source, such as a pond. Although fire engines carry a supply of water on board, larger fires usually require additional water. Oh, wow, that was really cool. That was really interesting. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, we can see. oh, look, I can see the engine in there. Can you see that? Oh, let's see if it has one for that. Oh, it does. Look right here. Oh, here it goes. The engine has to be yeah. durable, powerful, and most of all, reliable at all times, even in the coldest weather. The oh, diesel wow. engine in this truck powers the vehicle, runs the pump, and generates electric power for the lights and rescue equipment. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, let's see. What else? Let's see if we can find one more. Oh, there's a compartment right here. Let's find out what happens right there. Look, right there. Let's push that button there. Let's see. Tool compartment oh, on a fire engine. Is there tools? Spare entry tools? Oh, we love tools. Air supply packs, lights, and extra protective gear. Virtually anything that a firefighter might need in a fire or emergency. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course, firefighters have to have tools too, right? Oh, that's great. Well, let's see what else we can find to do. Come on, let's go. Oh, look at this. This is a firefighter's protective gear. It's their outerwear that helps them from, protect them from the fire. Okay, we've got our jacket. Oh, that's really, really cool. It's kind of heavy though. Oh, and then we got our flash hood. Check that out. It's like a mask almost. It goes on our head up underneath our helmet for, to protect our head and our neck from all of the heat and the fire. Oh, we've got our pants. Look at those, those are cool. Oh, and of course we gotta have our gloves to protect our hands from the fire too. Yep. And our boots. Oh, those are really cool. You actually can see the inside of it. It's cool. Oh, let's see what else we got. Of course, we got to have a firefighter's flashlight. Oh, and an axe. That's <laughs> cool. Oh, and then this really cool thing. This is called a self-contained breathing apparatus. Oh, it helps us breathe when we're inside of a house where there's smoke. It's really cool. But have you ever wondered how much all this stuff weighs? <laughs> well, this it's a weight simulator. <laughs> Did you know that all of this stuff weighs close to 100 pounds? You think I can lift it? We gotta lift this. We gotta pull on this rope to see if we can lift all this weight. You see? Let's see. Oh, that's about 40, 45. Oh, it's tough. Oh, let's see. Try it one more time. Oh, we almost got there. Oh, that went up to 65. Whew. We gotta really use some muscles for this. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, oh wow, there it went. <laughs> I lifted it up. <laughs> that was great. It's really heavy. That's a lot of equipment. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a fire truck. Oh, it's really cool. Did you know this was made in 1912? Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. Oh, you know, this is called a Metropolitan Steamer. Oh, and that this engine was pulled by horses. Oh, and the driver would sit up top there and hold on to the reins. Oh, and they'd go to a fire. How cool is that? Oh, look. Look at the big tank. That's where the water goes. That's really interesting. Oh, and look, you can see the bell. Oh, yeah. 
looks like they're they're bringing it coming down the road watch out the way there's a fire we gotta go oh and then look at the huge hose right there isn't that cool oh i bet you this was awesome going to the rescue to put out a fire oh that'd be really cool oh wow look at this this is really important this teaches us the importance of dialing 911 but only in an emergency oh like a fire now of course if there's no emergency we don't need to call 911 right only if there is an emergency like you pick up the phone and you dial 911 do you know what happens check this out look you get sent to a 911 operator yep and she takes out all the information of what's going on with the emergency like if it's a fire like where the fire is located uh, what street it's on or how bad it is if there's people in the house she gets all that information and then you know what she does she picks up the phone oh, and she calls a dispatcher right oh yeah and the dispatcher is actually the one that gets in contact by radio to the fire station oh, isn't that cool oh yeah so they call the fire station and then of course the firefighters they radio back and they communicate about all the information like the address yeah and what's going on how bad it is and then the firefighters hop in their truck oh this is the cool part and they get their turn on their lights oh, and they flash and they got big sirens to help them go down the road really fast uh -huh. and to get to the fire really fast, right? Because it's an emergency. It's great. Oh, and look, they've even got a time. I wonder how fast it takes them to get from the phone call all the way to the to the emergency. Oh, let's find out. Are you ready? Come on. Oh, can you hear it ringing? Oh, yeah. Is she there? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, look, the timer started. Oh, let's see how long it takes. Oh, wow, look. It took them a little over four minutes to get to the site, to get to the emergency. Oh, that's really fast. Oh, must be really cool to be a firefighter. Good job, firefighters. Here we go. Oh, do you know firefighters have some really cool uniforms and equipment that they use? I got jackets. Oh, and look, they have boots. Check those out. Those are cool. Yep. Oh, oh, and got some really cool helmets. Oh, look at this one. This one is called a Euro helmet. Oh, look at that. That one looks almost kind of like a motorcycle helmet. Oh, got that one. Oh, and then we've got this kind. This is like a traditional one. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and one of these. This one. It's like a leather one. Oh, look at this one. That was really cool. Kind of bent up in the back. Oh, and look at the metal plate on the front. That was really cool. <laughs> All right, so get that in there. Now we just got to get everybody's jacket hung up in their locker. Let's do that real quick. Come on. It's been awesome. I've had an amazing time. You've learned a lot about fire safety? Yeah, of course. And you've helped us a lot around the station. Oh, yeah. So, we have this nice fire helmet oh, for wow. you. Check that out. It's like my own very own fire helmet. Oh, that's great. We also have this patch we'd like to oh, present you. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, that looks like the one on your arm. It does. Oh, that's great. And we have a bracelet for you. Oh. This Clarence and Fire Rescue. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. <laughs> It's been an amazing day today. Ooh, well, thanks for watching Any Man How. We'll see you later. <laughs>
for you, can you help me? Handyman Hal, I've got a job for you, we're gonna need all of your handy tools. Handyman Hal, I've got a job for you, can you help me? Handyman Hal, I've got a job for you, you're gonna fix it cause that's what you do. Looks like my car broke down, nowhere to go. I'm stuck out here on the right side of the road. Oh yes I know Handyman Hal's got a truck Gonna give me a tow In the tow truck, in the tow truck Handyman Hal, I got a job for you Can you help me? Handyman Hal, I got a job for you We're gonna need all of your handy tools Handyman Hal, I got a job for you Can you help, can you help me, handyman? Handyman Hal, I got a job for you You're gonna fix it cause that's what you do something is wrong with the motor on this boat it just won't start the only thing it wants to do is float please start little motor boat please start what will i do wait a second oh yes i know the handyman can fix it with the drill and away we go handyman hell i got a job for you can you help can you help me truck back up with some water. We got it hooked up to the fire hydrant, but now we got Captain here. He's gonna show us exactly how to do it. How do we do it? Come on. All right, now we've got the fire out. Here's what we gotta do. We're gonna take this plug off of this cap. Okay. Hang that in. Bring up the hose. Make your connection. Open your valve up and look to the guy and tell him to crank up the hydrant. That oh, way he that's needs to awesome. be in and turn the water on. It's filling up with water. How cool is that? And here it goes. This is a fire hydrant. This is where the firefighters get to supply their water for the truck. How awesome is that? All right, Kevin. How, how much water does it hold? How much water can we put in here? This truck holds 1,200 gallons of water. What? That's 1,200 gallons of water? That's a lot of water, right? Put out a lot of fires. This is what tells whether or not how much water is in the tank. And it looks like, well, it's full. So now we get to shut it off just by this lever. Ready? There it is. We're good to go. Now 
now we get to learn about these really cool fire trucks. It's gonna be awesome. Look at it. It's all nice and bright and red. Oh, right. We're here at the King Street Fire Department. Look at there. That's nice and pretty. It's gold and it's black. Those are pretty cool. Yep. All right, let's see. Well, this is called a ladder truck, right? It's a ladder. And this is engine number 34. Can you say that? 34. Awesome. All right, well, let's see what else we got on here. Oh, look at this. This looks really awesome. We've got these little controls here. These are what you call valves. Yep, it operates the pump inside that gets the water from inside the tank to the end of the hose. That's really, really cool. Look at all those cool little lights. Got some green lights there, some orange lights. Oh, and even these little buttons here, these are cool. We got a red button, we got a blue button, an orange button, green button, and some yellow buttons. Those are awesome. This is really cool, that's how it actually works, right? That's amazing. Well, look, we got all these cool compartments. Let's see what's inside. Let's lift up those little levers. Oh, wow. Look at all this cool stuff in here. We got our hoses, and then they're all nice and rolled up, so whenever the firefighters get to the fire, you just pull them out with ease. That is so awesome. Oh, check this out. This is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Look at all these cool tools. We got an ax. Oh, that's for chopping in a door. Maybe in a roof, got a sledgehammer. That's pretty awesome. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, check these out. These are really, really cool. Oh, yeah, I wonder what we can break. Snap with those, right? Oh, those are cool. Oh, there it is. Let's see what else we got, come on. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. We got a little lever right here. Pull it out, pull these out. Oh, yeah. Let's see where these take us. Oh yeah, oh, right up here. Oh, this is really cool up here. This is where the ladder is. They would use this to like get up on top of a house or to get on top of a fire. This is the controls for this ladder. This is so awesome, right? We can crawl right out there and go right up so, so high. That's really awesome. Look at these controls. We got these little knobs here. It goes up and down. Got these buttons. Got a red emergency button there. I bet that takes it right on up, lets it go out. Those are really, really cool, right? Yeah. Guess what, guys? We're on top of a fire truck. How cool is that? Let's climb down. That was awesome. All right, let's get these ladders back in here. Of course, you don't want nobody to trip on them, right? There we go, just like that. Pull that lever, latch it down. That was pretty awesome, right? Well, come on, let's see what else we got. Oh, let's check out what's in here. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's a ladder truck, so we gotta have lots and lots of ladders, right? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's what they use to crawl up on top of a house with. Those are pretty cool. And they've got one, two, three, four ladders back here. That's awesome. Check out this really cool thing. Oh, this looks like a weapon of some sort, right? That's pretty cool. It's got a little hook, a little pointy piece right there. That's awesome. Slide that back in there. That's cool. Right in there. And it latches so it's safe right there so it doesn't come falling out. Let's see what else we got. Check this out. This is really cool. Right up under this red flap is the big hose. It's nice, bright, and yellow. Of course, I tell everybody to get out of the way, right? Be cautious. That is a huge hose. That's the big hose that brings the big amount of water to the fire. Those are really awesome, right? All right, let's close that back. Put these latches back on. There's one latch, and there's two latches. Nice, all right, look at this one. We got a compartment right here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow, that's a cool little generator type thing. And oh, look at this saw, the sharp blade that maybe cuts through, through a door or through some walls or something. That's really cool, that's awesome. Let's close that back, let's see what else we got. Oh, right down here, check this one out. What's in here? Oh, wow, it's a chainsaw. Firefighters might even use a, a 
chainsaw to cut into the top of a roof to save somebody or to cut into the roof to let some smoke out. Those are really cool, right? Awesome. Let's shut this one. Let's keep on going. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow. Look at these massive wheels. Those are really cool. Those are big. Those are almost as big as me. Those are really cool. Nice and shiny. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. All right, cool. Check out the front of this truck. We got the lights, the safety lights. Way up there, that's the ladder, and that's where the water comes out. That's the hose. That's really awesome right there, right? Yeah. Check this out. This, this is the siren. This is the noise that it makes whenever it's coming down the road. When you see a fire truck down the road and it's making those loud noises, this is where it comes from. That's really cool, right? Yeah. Well, let's check out the inside. Awesome. Open this up. Oh, wow. This is really, really cool. Let me crawl up here. Oh, yeah. First off, we got some switches up here. This is what operates all the safety lights. Let's see. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah, check that out. We got all these nice bright red lights. That's so awesome, right? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's a really, really cool part. It's down here at the bottom. There's these two pedals. That one there and that one there. That's the horn and the siren. Let's try it out. You ready? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. How about the siren? Let me try that. Oh! Such a fun day so far, but I'm here with Captain Matthews. What's going on, Captain Matthews? Hey, How you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, fantastic. So, pretty cool guy right here. So tell us, what's maybe a few safety tips or something that we might need to tell the kids at home about fire safety? One, always have a fire escape plan. Mm. And two, get out and stay out. Oh yeah, for real. Of course, if your house is on fire, you need to get out. And of course, stay out. That's pretty That's cool, right. right? Well, we've got all this really cool gear out here, man. So this is really cool. So let's see, what is this right here? We got this little cool thing. Well, I think I might know what this is, but what is this? This is our coat that we wear with our bunker gear or our turnout gear, as it's called. It helps to protect us from this water, the steam and the fire of a house. Oh fire. yeah, this is what I wore earlier in that fire we did earlier. That's right. Pretty heavy, but yeah, it's safety, right? Oh, then we got some gloves here, right? Yep. That's pretty cool. Right. Anything special about these? Just a good leather glove that is insulated to help protect our hands as well from the heat. That's awesome. And of course we got this right here. I like the one I wore earlier. This is a helmet, right? Anything special about these? No, nope, they're just a good old fashioned helmet that we wear that has built in uh, safety glasses oh, that you push see. on your, there oh, you go. Just yeah. like that. That's really cool. Can you see me in there? Those are awesome. Oh, what are these right here? Oh, well, this right here. What's this? That's pretty cool. That's our flash hood. That's what we put on to help protect our neck and our ears from the heat and steam whenever we're fighting fires. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a Halloween mask or something, right? That's Just about. Pretty awesome, right? And what we got here? It's like boots or something, right? That's right. Those are our boots and our pants with our ladder harnesses that are built into oh, them. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty heavy, though, right? It is. It's really, really heavy, man. It's a cool boots, right? Awesome. Yeah. I like those. Well, we've got all this gear here. What I heard is my friend here can put it on in less than two minutes. Yeah. How about that? So who we got? I have with me engineer Greg Ward. All right, Mr. Greg, come on. So this is what we're going to do. Let's see if we can get this on in two minutes. So you get your stuff set up the way you want to. And while he's doing that, if we can get two minutes set on the clock, oh, this is going to be awesome. Let's see if we can get this done in two minutes or less. This is gonna be really, really awesome. All right, are you ready? Ready. All right, on your mark. We got it, get set, and go. Oh yeah, so he's gonna take off his shoes first. Oh, that's cool. All right, put on his little 
helmet looks like looks like a Halloween mask. Puts his boots on. That's cool. Slides up his pants. Oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. He's got some really cool suspenders. Oh, he's almost there. He's almost there. He's almost there. Yep. Yeah, oh, he's got his jacket. Put his jacket on. Oh, we're at around maybe a minute now. I don't know. Oh, let's see what the clock says. All right, yeah, we got about 46 seconds in. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, let's see what's left. Oh, he's got his oxygen. Oh, yeah, look at there. Oh, he's so quick. Oh, yeah. Tighten those straps up. Yep. He's got a few little latches to strap. Oh, yeah. No, no, almost there. He's gotta put his oxygen mask on. Tighten it up. Put that mask over his head. Oh, he's almost there. Oh, not even a minute yet. Oh, yeah. Helmet. Latch that up. Oh, and then, oh, 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 it's a bell. Oh, yeah, let's see where we at. Oh, we're at a minute and eight, nine seconds. Oh, he's almost there. Just got a couple more things to put on. Got his glove on. And that second glove, almost there. Almost there. And a minute and 20, stop that clock. And we're at a minute and 20 some odd seconds. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. What kind of one do we got here? It looks like some kind of face mask. It looks like some kind of Halloween mask. What yeah, it got? does. All right, what we have right here, this is our mask that goes to our SCBAs that when you press this button, it allows them to have fresh, clean oh, air that comes wow. out of the cylinder in the back. You called it oxygen earlier. Nope, oh, it's only man. just purified air that comes out of an air compressor and we can pick that up and that way he can just breathe regular outside air when he's not working or on the job. That's awesome. He has his alarm right here that it has a speaker built into it and it shows how much air pressure he has in his cylinder. Awesome. So this is very important whenever we're in a fire and working. Yeah, right? You got to breathe whenever there's a cold kinds of smoke out there. That's right, right that's, that's right. Awesome. Just